So today I went grocery shopping and I made the grave mistake of taking my 12, almost 13 year old with me. So I got a little bit more groceries than I bargained for, but that's okay. I wanted to share them with you guys. This week I went to Hy-Vee, so I'm going to share with you what I got from the store. And then at the end, I will show you my meal plan for the week. Okay, so here is everything that I got from Hy-Vee today. It ended up being a much larger haul than I thought it was going to be. However, I didn't get much produce at all because I have been ordering a lot of produce from Misfits Market. I actually just did a video on them yesterday, so I'll link that down below. Uh, and I have a coupon code if you want to use that also, but that's kind of where the bulk of that came from. So I am going to be delivering a lasagna for Lasagna Love today. And I don't always, but a lot of times I do include like a bagged salad and garlic bread with it. So I'm gonna do that today. I got this classic Caesar kit salad. I also got some bananas, we were all out of those. Uh, Kira was with me, so she wanted to get some blackberries. And then I have a recipe that I wanna make for a blueberry cheesecake that looks really good. So hopefully I can get that done probably tomorrow. I'm probably not going to have time today, but I needed a few more blueberries for that. And then I got some broccoli. Um, this is going to be a side for one night for dinner this week. I got some celery because I do want to make some chicken salad. And then I thought with the rest of it, I could just cut it up and I could give it to the kids with peanut butter or ranch dip. Kira has been liking to have Cliff Bars for breakfast, like a quick breakfast when she um goes out the door for school in the morning so i had her pick out what she wanted she picked out two of these cool mint two chocolate brownie two peanut butter banana and one dark chocolate mocha um, i got some garden vegetable cream cheese i would have preferred to get the craft kind because um, it was the same price and i like that more but they were out so i got the high v brand instead I got some sour cream just to have on hand for baked potatoes and things like that. Uh, I got some of the Faye Total Yogurt. This is the kind that has the fruit that you stir into it. It's really good. This was on sale for a dollar each. So I got one mango passion fruit, which I don't think I've had that kind before. And then one cherry, which I've had before and is really, really good. Um, we got some of our favorite cheese sticks, the Cracker Barrel. Uh, these are more like they're like the little cheese bars, and then these are more like the cheese sticks, but here, pick those out. And then I also got some of the dried mango. This is like freeze-dried fruit. It comes in all different kinds, and the mango is really good. And Kira, she normally likes the dried mango, like from Trader Joe's, but it's hard for her to eat it right now because she has braces on, so I get this for her instead. Uh, I got some cottage cheese to have on hand. Uh, I'm might need that might need a little bit of that for the lasagna i'm gonna make today and then i also got some ricotta for the lasagna um, i got some chobani yogurts one peanut butter cup mint chocolate chip and cookies and cream and then i also got some of these hillshire uh, small plates they had on sale so this one is just like salami and cheese um, this one is salami and gouda cheese i think i'll give these to adam to take to work with him uh, maybe this one too. This one is a Cracker Barrel one with Havarti cheese. And then these are really good. I actually like to have these for lunch sometimes. This is a turkey and Asiago, and it comes with Triscuits in there. Um, Kira picked out some of these like little snack things. Um, this is the Hormel Natural Choice. This one has chicken and cheddar in it. This one has turkey and cheddar, so she got some of those. And then I also got some deli meat. So I have some rye bread and sauerkraut, and I want to make some more Rubens. So I got a pound of corned beef, which is super <laughs> pricey. It's $14 a pound. That's nuts. Um, and then I also got some of the honey turkey breast. So we'll have that for sandwiches this week. And then I also just picked up one bag of sharp cheddar cheese because I think one night we're going to have tacos or taco salad this week. Um, I can't always find these and Kira found them we we're in the deli section and she really likes these too so uh, these are just the Lunchables that have pepperoni and mozzarella in them I don't even know if I'm gonna have all room for all these little snacky things in my fridge but we'll <laughs> we'll figure it out 
Uh, I got some of these 100 calorie Simply Orange Juice minis. Um, I like having these on hand for breakfast for the kids if they want one. And then I want to make some homemade ranch dressing as well. So I got some buttermilk. Uh, I got a half gallon of 2% milk. And then they also had croutons, the Hy-Vee brand. Buy one, get one free. So they ended up being 99 cents a bag. So I got two of the garlic butter. Um, it takes us a while to go through those, but I do like to have croutons on hand all of the time. So I'll just keep those in the pantry. Um, I did get a, a good sale on some chips. So I got some of the a, whoops, AE um, toasted onion sour cream dip. They had a coupon where you could get a can of Hy-Vee tuna for 49 cents. So I went ahead and took advantage of that. And then I also got some sliced water chestnuts. Um, last night for dinner, I made uh, the P.F. Chang's like chicken, um, what are they called? Like the chicken lettuce wraps. I didn't put the water chestnuts in there because I didn't have any, but I have some of the meat mixture left over. So I want to combine those with that and do like some lettuce wraps for lunch this week. I also got some of the Hy-Vee mild spice pork sausage. Um, I'm probably going to use this for some type of breakfast meal. I'm not quite sure yet. I usually like to keep one of those on hand just because it's really good breakfast sausage or to use it for whatever I want to use it for. Um, this was also a good deal. They had a coupon where you could get a package of the Oscar Mayer deli meat for $1.99. And this is a little over half a pound. So I thought that was a great deal. I like having ham on hand so that we can make like a quick English muffin breakfast sandwich or a bagel sandwich. Um, and then we also like to eat the ham and pickle roll-ups. Um, I got Connor some of these Simply Go-Gurts for his lunchbox. I haven't bought Go-Gurts in a long time, so I thought those would be good. And then I looked for these a couple weeks ago, and they were out of them, but they had them this week. This is actually the King's Hawaiian brand, but they're pretzel sliders. These are really convenient to pack for the kids' lunches, and I also like to have these. If you like put ham and cheese on these and warm them up in the microwave, really good and quick lunch idea. Um, I have a salad recipe that calls for kind of like a grain medley, and instead of doing all of like the separate components myself, I thought I would just get this. So this comes with brown rice, flax seed, quinoa, and chia. So it's just a minute like cup rice so that'll be a very good quick <laughs> idea for that rather than making everything on its own and then they had the lenders bagels on sale for 250 a package so i got some of the onion bagels um kira picked out some starbucks cold brew this is the vanilla sweet cream one and then we are all out of like sandwich style pickles so i got these um, hy -Vee brand kosher dill. There was a couple different brands they had, but this one was the cheapest and I've had these before and they're delicious. I had some graham cracker crumbs for the cheesecake that I want to make. And then um, these were on sale, I believe for $1.99. They're just the sunshine uh, crispy saltine crackers. We can always use those for soup. This was another good sale that they had. They had the Bear Creek um, countries, well, whatever, Bear Creek soup mixes is what I'm trying to say. You could use a coupon with this and get it for 99 cents, which I thought was great. So I ended up getting the broccoli cheddar. Um, I normally, when I make this, I add extra broccoli to it and it's really good. So I'll probably make that for maybe for a lunch this week. We'll see. They also had flour on sale with a coupon for 99 cents, which I thought was a fantastic deal. So I got one of those and then we needed more ranch from the Valley. <laughs> I just always like to have a backup in the pantry. Um, this is Connor's favorite ranch dressing, so I got that. They had these um, unsweetened applesauce cups, again, with a coupon for 99 cents, so I snagged one of those. I got a two-pack of cream cheese. I think what I'm going to do with one of these is make that blueberry cheesecake, and then with the other one, I'm actually going to save that for some jalapeno poppers because I have some jalapenos in the refrigerator that I need to use up. Um, Kira grabbed one can of beefaroni gross <laughs> it's like i mean i used to eat this stuff when i was a kid too like i can remember eating beefaroni and ravioli and stuff all the time and then like now i'm like whoop i wouldn't eat that but whatever kids kids eat kid things okay um these are soft pretzel bites and they had these on sale for 3.99 which i know is kind of i don't know i actually didn't think it was that bad for 
there's not a ton in there, but I thought this would maybe be a fun snack. Um, it comes with cheese sauce. So anyway, I just thought we would try those. Uh, I got one of the Mama Basso's frozen pizzas. These are really good. This one is sausage and pepperoni. I don't really need more coffee, but I saw these and they had a fuel saver on them. So um, I decided to get or try these. These are the, the K-Cups, the um, Illy Intenso. So it looks like they are, I like really, really dark coffee. And so I'm sure these will be uh, delightful, but I'll try that. Um, Kira said she gets the baked ruffles a lot at school lunch um, and she would like to have them at home also. So I got those for her. They had the honeycomb cereal on sale for $1.99. Uh, th that's actually a pretty good price, I think. And I was comparing the sugar. Now, obviously, all pretty much a lot. Oh, well. All cereal has <laughs> added sugar. Almost all cereal has added sugar, unless you're talking about, like, Cheerios or something like that. Um, but this one actually had less added sugar than some of the other ones. So I decided to get that for the kids to try in case they want to have it for breakfast. And then these chips were on sale for 99 cents. So I got those to go with the French onion soup. Um, I think one night we're going to do walking tacos. And so I needed to get Doritos. And surprisingly enough, they were buy one, get one free. We can always use Doritos. So I went ahead and got two of those. One night this week, I'm going to do Italian beef sandwiches. So I got some of the Hy-Vee like deli hoagie buns. We will use those for that. Um, I also got some croissants. I'm not sure exactly how many are in here, maybe six. I'm probably gonna have to freeze some of these, but one night I'm gonna make ham and potato soup, and I thought it would be good to have um, like some chicken salad sandwiches on the side. So that's my plan for those. The kids probably won't eat chicken salad, but they'll eat like turkey or ham on a croissant. So, um, oh, the other thing I could do with these is make some breakfast sandwiches. So we'll see about that. Uh, speaking of breakfast sandwiches, I did get Adam some of the Jimmy Dean sausage egg and cheese biscuits. Um, these are always just really simple for him to heat up as he's going out the door. Uh, my sister got me <laughs> hooked on these. Uh, I love cheese enchiladas, and these are the El Monterey, um, just the frozen dinner. They come with cheese enchiladas and like a cilantro lime rice. Pretty good for like lunch in a pinch especially when i have no time during the day and i need something really quick and then i saw this link cuisine i thought it actually looked really good i'm going to try it sometime um this is a four cheese tortelloni with pesto and then it has zucchini peppers and tomatoes in it so i thought that sounded good um once again i could not pass up this water hy-vee has had like some pretty awesome coupons lately and they had this where you could get a 24 pack of Again, the purified drinking water for 99 cents, which is crazy. So I went ahead and picked that up again. Uh, I got some of the toaster scramble. These are like the, what do you call them? Strudels, toaster strudels, except they're bacon, egg, and cheese. I, I don't know. I know this is trash food, but I like it. <laughs> I remember eating these sometimes when I was a kid. Obviously, they were like expensive, so it was like a treat, um, but I do like these, so... Maybe I'll have those as a treat for breakfast a couple mornings this week. Uh, I got some garlic bread. So I got one just to have here at home. And then I got another box for the lasagna love delivery that I'm going to make this afternoon. And then I got some of the, this is the Hy-Vee brand of Nutrigrain waffles. These are obviously com comparable to name brand. And I like to have these on hands for hand for the kids breakfast. Okay, so for non-food items... Well, I think mostly non-food items. I got some napkins. We are all out of those. These are pretty good, the Vanity Fair ones. I've had them before. And then I'm all out of paper towels. I should probably go to Sam's or Costco next weekend and stock up on some things. But for now, I just bought this four pack of Bounty paper towels at Hy-Vee. Um, the kids and Adam needed some shampoo and different things. So I got Adam one um, bottle of the Head & Shoulders uh, shampoo that's what he prefers I got Connor this green apple head and shoulders this is a um, shampoo and conditioner and then I also got Connor a um, bottle of body wash this is Irish spring it smells really good Kira needed some more shampoo so I got her this Tresemme and then she also needed more mouthwash so she picked that out and then I thought we would try these these are the quest 
peanut butter cups. They um, are low sugar, low carb. So let me know if you've tried these. I mean, obviously the package makes them look good, but who knows <laughs> what they really taste like on the inside. And then uh, Kira picked out some gum. So she's got Trident. And then, oh, and before anyone tells me about braces and gum, yes, our orthodontist said that she can have sugar-free gum. So Trident fits the bill for that. Um, and then we got some of these ice cubes, also sugar-free gum. These are pretty good. And then I normally get my dog food delivered from Chewy.com. Um, I do like the solid gold pet, the um, dry food and the wet food. However, we, I don't know if I didn't have my delivery dates <laughs> correct, but somehow we ran out of dry food. So I just needed something to hold me over until I get my next delivery. Um, Murphy's had this before. It's the Purina One Lamb and Rice Formula. So I kind of just got that to hold us over until our next delivery comes. So that is everything that I got this week for groceries. Quite a bit. Uh, I need to get all this put away and then I'm going to show you the meal plan. Actually, I'm going to show you the meal plan and then I'm going to put everything away because I, I hate putting groceries away. I don't know what it is. I just, I don't like doing it. <laughs> and of course, I'm the only one that can do it right. So I have to do it. I'm kidding, but you know what I mean. Okay, so I used my Carrie L uh, meal planner again this week. I will link this down below in case you're new to my channel and you don't know that I live by this thing. Uh, I have been not as great, I would say, about meal planning over the last few weeks, but we just got off like, what, five months of swim season where we had like two and a half hours of swim practice every night. And it was one of the times like when I should have been really sticking to my meal planning, um, but I wasn't. And so that honestly just contributed to more stress about dinner time. I mean, we got it done, but you know, it's always easier when you can plan it out ahead of time. So uh, this is what we're having this week. In case you don't um, have one of these meal planners or know how they work, they are my favorite because you can write your menu down the side. And then they also have a perforated line down here where you can actually tear your grocery list off and take that to the store with you. I prefer to go off of a paper list. I know that sometimes people use electronic lists. Um, you know, if you order groceries, obviously you can still use it, tear this off, take it to your computer, order your groceries. So anyway, um, tonight we are going to have chicken Alfredo with garlic bread and salad. I actually bought this at Hy-Vee last week as part of like a BOGO deal. It's one of those like already made meals so that will actually be really good for tonight and then tomorrow since um we are off work tomorrow it's a holiday i am going to make chicken pot pie for dinner i thought that i had turkey left over in the freezer from thanksgiving but i actually used the last of it so i'm just going to use regular chicken breast make a gravy um, mixed vegetables potatoes i have some pillsbury pie crust so slap that in there bake it we'll have a salad with that um, I'll do a what's for dinner video also so you guys will see all these in an upcoming video um, okay Tuesday I'm gonna make ham and potato soup so I have a ham bone in the freezer that I believe is left over from either Christmas or Christmas or Thanksgiving I think it's from Christmas um, so my plan is to make some broth with that put in the put it in the instant pot and then use that ham broth to make a cheesy ham and potato soup I think it'll be really good and then I'm gonna make some chicken salad and we'll have that with croissants and probably some fruit and veggies on this side. Uh, Wednesday, I'm going to make Italian beef. So I use a couple different recipes for that. One of my favorite recipes is the Pioneer Woman's drip beef recipe. It uses fresh herbs instead of dried. So I'll probably make that with um, some roasted potatoes, which I have in the pantry, and then that broccoli I purchased as well. And then Thursday, we're gonna do, I have burritos or tacos written down. We'll probably do walking tacos now that I was able to get those now that I was able to get those Doritos. But I also have some burrito size tortillas that I got from Aldi and we haven't used these yet. So we have a couple different options there. Um, any combination of taco meat and shells and cheese and lettuce is fine, right? <laughs> and then I'm probably gonna make some refried beans because I have some cans of pinto beans in the pantry to use up. And then Friday, we always have pizza night. I would highly recommend that you have at least one night a week where you either plan to eat out or have a pizza or 
I don't know, it just it just gives you a break from having to cook dinner every single night. I know not everyone likes to do that, but that would be my <laughs> recommendation. Uh, and then Saturday, I normally wait. I don't plan that far ahead because we may end up doing a date night or something like that. So anyway, that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me for this grocery haul and meal plan. I will be back tomorrow with another video on how I started getting up at 5 a.m. So make sure you're subscribed, turn on your notifications. You're not gonna wanna miss that. Bye.